Happy Tuesday. Um, I feel like I should just do a week of clothes. I just wanted to get your opinion. Like, I have to go to work, and so I feel like this jumpsuit by itself is not that work appropriate. <laughs> I found this in my closet. I know I wore it last week, but I think it goes. Hold on. Let me back up. What do we think? I feel like it looks good, right? And it makes it look more professional than, you know, summery beachy. It's Tuesday. It's Mike's birthday. He doesn't want to do anything. He wants to just come home, so I'm not going to do anything. I am going to go get him a cookie cake for lunch because he comes to lunch with us. And I typically, like anniversaries and stuff, I'll have a cookie cake delivered to him. But since he comes to lunch with us now, since we work so close, I think I'm just going to go pick up a cookie cake. But they don't open till 9. So I have to go to work and then leave and go get it. Which, working for my mom, she's not going to care. So, yeah. Anyways, happy Tuesday. Good morning. Uh, it is Saturday. I have no idea where I left off. This week has been chaotic. <laughs> it is the last week of tax season. Literally, tax season ends on Monday. So, it's been chaos in my life. Anyways, so today's Saturday. I'm actually going to go in tomorrow when nobody is there and do a little bit of stuff. So, I think I'm just going to go live today. I really should go to Torrid and take back some stuff that Romper I got ripped right in the middle like where the titties are because that's where the seam is and it ripped while i was going to the bathroom <laughs> apparently i pulled my legs apart too far anyways it ripped right at the seam so i need to go take that back and exchange it so i'm like trying to debate do i go do that or do i go live because i haven't been live in forever and i really only can go live on weekends because i'm too tired after work I feel like I should go live. I do also have an order to pack. Oh, I have a Sephora haul I wanna show you guys. Let me get dressed and get changed. Yeah, let me change. AKA let me put a bra on so that I can set you down. And let's go through my Sephora haul and we'll do the stuff together too. Okay, hopefully this is stable because <laughs> here it does not look stable, but. Okay, you know I'm a mess, my God. I let the cats in here and I'm fully regretting this. Luna, what are you doing? I started doing this twist for my buns. And I've kind of been loving it. I feel like it's just so easy and it makes it have more volume. Hopefully that doesn't mess up my lighting too bad for you. And there's a glare on the camera, so I can't actually tell. <laughs> uh, anyways, let's do a Sephora haul. I did a pickup order because we're lazy. So first let's do some hair stuff. I have become obsessed with whey. So I first had these two products and I just re-upped them. Actually, I have their scalp, what is it, like scalp and body scrub, I think, something like that. I use it occasionally. I don't really use it too often, to be honest. Anyway, so I got a re-up of this because somebody mentioned this on TikTok and I just like, that sounds amazing. Let me try it. So I have already used a whole bottle of this and so I needed more. This is the Detoxy, what? Detox shampoo for all hair types. I freaking love this. I personally, because I had never even thought of it like a detox shampoo until that person's TikTok and it makes so much sense to me because I go a week without washing my hair. So we have a week of back-to-back -back hairspray and then some dry shampoo in there and like it's disgusting. So because I only wash my hair once a week, I actually use this only for shampoo and I use it once a week to get all the buildup out. Well then also because I really only wash my hair once a week in my head and I don't know how accurate this is because... I, I didn't go to school for cosmetology. I don't know shit about it. But in my head, if I'm detoxing and stripping heavily, then I need to heavily put nutrients back in. So I actually don't use conditioner anymore. Um, I just use hair masks. So this is Way's fine to medium hair mask. So I will literally go in with this to shampoo, go into this and let it sit while I do the rest of my shower and then take have this removed. So. My husband started stealing this from me. I don't remember what happened. Like, he ran out of what he uses or what. But he literally just started using it. Because what do you have in there? That is so good. Don't worry. I yelled at him. Like, don't freaking touch this. I love the smell of this, too. Because, like, this, first off, is not that cheap. This feels like a small thing to me. And I use a shit ton. Because <laughs> it's a mask. Anyways, so my husband also loves this. But he's not allowed to touch it. Because I want to say these are like $38, $40 each. So they're pricey. So because I've been loving those, I decided to give 
more products to try. Um, they had this that was recommended to me because of buying the other stuff. So I did pick this up. It's just a set. It's a value of $66 for $53 for both of them. So what it is is a body cleanser, which I was out of body soap, so I figured this would be really nice to try. And oh my god, this smells so good. Like this just reminds me of somewhere tropical. It just smells so good. And I wish I could tell you what it smells like, but I'm horrible at that. And then, it, like I said, it's a set. So then you also have the body cream, so the lotion, and it has the exact same smell. Oh my god, I love this. And it feels so hydrating. Like, I realize it's a lotion, but like, it's like the thick hydrating feel. I love that. So that's what I got. I do want to try. They have like a hair oil and some other stuff. I want to try that, but this is all I've tried from them so far. So that is the hair stuff I got. So for the makeup, I guess this one isn't really makeup related, but I got the Laneige sleeping mask. I had a sample of this a long time ago and I loved it. Um, but then I never really bought anything else and I got something that's like a mask, a lip mask, um, in BoxyCharms a long time ago <laughs> and I'm just now running out of it. So I got this. They are pricey. Like to me, I don't know why, it just sounds like it's not something I'd normally justify paying $24 for. But because I had that sample, I knew it was really good so I did get it and I thought it was cute. It comes with a little spatula. Um, and then I got a couple of like re-ups. So I got the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. Speaking of something that is expensive, <laughs> I've only ever had the sample and I loved the sample so I was like, fuck it. We're getting the big boy. And then this is my favorite mascara right now. Um, I've had it a couple of times. I go and change and try something else and I keep coming back to this. Um, but this is the YSL Lash Clash. I love this. And then I keep seeing all over TikTok the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk concealer going around saying that it's really good so I wanted to try it I got mine in the shade 2 um, and then because of that I was like well then I might as well get the foundation because I used to love this foundation however I bought it when I was in a um, where was I I can't remember exactly but it was in an airport oh, I was in Detroit it was in the Detroit airport because it was the first time I'd ever seen Giorgio Armani makeup somewhere because I didn't want to just get it without seeing the shade. But anyways, at that time I was fake tanning and so it was an extremely dark shade and I hardly got to use it because of the shade. And anyways, so I haven't tried this in forever and I used to love it. So we got this again because I figured it would pair beautifully. That's everything I got. It's so funny, you should see, I still have, like I don't know what's wrong with me. Like why can't I put stuff away? I still have like the stuff I just bought in the last haul sitting out here. I will say, if you want an update, I'm really not loving these. The concealer, it's just way too lightweight for me and seems to disappear. Same thing with the HD foundation. I just don't see, it doesn't have enough coverage for me with my redness. I And I don't know, I've been trying to use it with different stuff with like not a sponge and like different products because it feels like it's just moving and peeling or pilling. So for me, I haven't been loving those. That's another reason why I still have them out. Anyways, I'm gonna do my makeup. I did completely forget. I'm sorry if you're crooked. You look crooked to me. I completely forgot I have an order to pack. <laughs> and the post office closes in 24 minutes. So, I hate when people do that. I'm gonna try to see if I can get this out. Granted, if, if it's UPS, is cheaper, they don't close until 1. So I have more time with UPS, but I prefer USPS if I can, just because uh, UPS is always packed on a Saturday, especially at the end when they're about to close. This is such a booby shirt, I'm like, I need to get more things to like make tripods because you're on a wet wipes and you're not tall enough. So I'm like, mm. trying to scrunch down for you. Um, nope, neither one of these shit. I'm gonna, let me just go grab it. Dude, this place is a freaking disaster. Like, I can't wait to move and like rearrange. Like, this needs to go. She got a mini. Um, if you know anything about crystals or if you're interested, this is what she picked up. So she picked up one of the grape agate pieces. Um, and then she picked up the small size of a rainbow fluorite cloud. And then she picked up four... Uh, garden quartz towers and small and tiny mini small and medium so these are really really pretty 
and then you got these. So we do these as intuitive ones. So um, they just pick the size, and then I pick the, which one I grab out of the collection of them. So I need to bubble wrap these and ship them out. Hi, I have potentially bad news. Jake just messaged me that somebody gave a deposit for the place we wanted. So the last remaining unit is the other one right next door. So he says, once you, we have your deposit physically, I can take the advertisement down. I said, well, can you confirm the windows? Because the images make it look like, because he acted earlier like, oh, nope, they're all the same. That's so annoying. Like, you should have told me. I could have immediately come, like, before you bothered having somebody fill out an app. Yeah, I know. That's actually really question. Well, it's like, maybe you have to come drop it off. It's like, when do you think we have time to do that in the middle of the fucking day? Yeah, I could have immediately paid online, but you wouldn't let me do it online. Hello. It's Sunday now. I literally went live until we had to leave for my stepdad's birthday. So, I forgot to vlog. Per huge. We didn't get home until nine something, so I didn't feel the need to pick the camera back up. So anyways, it's Sunday now. It is noon. It's hot for the first time. Like it's like 80, just kidding, 75. It's supposed to be 83 today. So I'm in this romper, which like the only other time I ever wore this romper was in Florida when we would go to the beach. I just kind of used it as a cover up instead. So I'm feeling a little uncomfy because everything is out, but I'm embracing the fact that I, you can't hide it. So why, why do I care so much? I'd rather be comfy. And that's what I'm trying <laughs> to stick with in my mind. I'd rather be comfy. So we're wearing it. I don't care. Anyways, I'm on my way to Torrid real quick because I want to take back the item that broke. And then I actually think I'm going to take back the skirt because it's just not very comfortable. And so I'm going to go do that first because I need to eat lunch eventually. Anyways, so I'm on my way now. going to go toward. I'll take you with. Okay, so that was a shit show. They had some problems with their system. So that took way longer than it should have. And it's now 1.20. Let me pop it up on the screen real quick and we can talk about what I bought. Actually, I don't know how loud it is for you. So maybe we should do this at home. Should we do this at home? Yeah, let's do this at home. So let me go get something to eat and I'll see you at the house and then we'll go over my tour and stuff. Okay, okay, bye. Okay, I grabbed some clips while I was in the dressing room. That way the stuff that I didn't bring, you didn't have to bother seeing. Okay, so the first item, I couldn't tell if this was a dress or a shirt, like when I held it up, I thought it was a shirt, but then when I put it on, it was so long, I'm pretty sure it was a dress. Uh, that looked like crap, and it was very see-through. The next item, I loved the like lace or crochet detail on the arms. I'm noticing crochet is really coming a thing again. I loved the detail, however, when you put it on, first off, it was really tight on the arm, so I'd have to size up, and then the way it sat, and it could have just sat on my chest because of the arms, and it was like really hard to get them to like pull them into the like right place so that it would sit correctly. And then it is also that material is see-through. Like, so you know the black crochet tank top I just got? They have it in a cream color. So stop it, NYX. I tried it on in the store. It is so see-through. And I have another shirt like that from them um, with the same material. It's, the like cut's different. And I literally never wear it because it's see-through. So I'm like, don't do this again. Because I was like, well, I could just wear a nude bra. I literally won't wear it. So <coughs> I was like, don't do this again. Okay, the next one was cute. So the next one is this pink shirt. I couldn't decide if I should get it or not. I ended up ultimately saying no. It fits. However, I had to keep in mind the whole time you'll see me constantly grabbing the material on my boobs because I am wearing like a soft, it's not fully a sports bra, but kind of. And so, you know what? pushes your boobs back and so they don't sit where they would sit with a bra. So I kept pulling just to make sure I would have space if I was wearing my normal daily bras. So ultimately I knew it would fit. Again, a little see-through, which wouldn't be too big of a deal because I could just wear a nude bra. But ultimately I just felt like it paled me out, so I didn't get it. Okay, the next shirt though, the next pink and white shirt, I love this. I loved it. The only thing that I had a downside with is I felt like there wasn't too crazy much space here. So I just have a feeling that if 
I wore to buy that, come home, put my normal bra on, that it wouldn't fit right, that it would be too tight. So I did size up. They didn't have it in store, so they ended up there just shipping it to me. They're shipping this shirt to me, two capris, because I guess I should just throw that in. I got their black legging capris because I'm out. I All of mine had holes in them, so I threw them away. But I like to wear these for work. So I bought one, the last pair that they had there, and then I had two more ordered to come ship with that shirt. And then the jumpsuit that I bought in my try on haul, because it ripped and that was what I was taking back, I rebought. Basically, they just exchanged it, but they didn't have it in store in my size, so they're shipping that too. Oh, the next one. The next one was, oh, and I, I don't have sizes. Sorry, guys. I, let me see if I can think about it. Okay, everything that I've mentioned so far, I do remember I've got, I grabbed in 3X. I do know that. Okay, so this guy. I don't know where I'm gonna wear this. Like, this is very much like perfect beach cover up. I mean, the material is like, it feels like linen. I originally got this in a three, so you'll see the video of me trying it on. That one is a 3X, and while it fits, I just felt like because I would be wearing this as a cover-up, I wanted it loose in the arms, and that 3X was just fitting in the arms, you know what I mean? So it didn't feel like I could like, you know, move very well. So I did get it in a 4X instead. Um, I do have the price of this one. Obviously, I don't have the price of the other ones. Um, this is $69.90. And today was the last day of Torrid Cash, which is also why I was like, if I'm going to return the jump shoot, jump suit that ripped, let me do it on the Torrid Cash day so I can... Because I know me. I'm not going to go in there and exchange something and not buy stuff. So, anyways. <laughs> so I got that. What's the next one? Oh, this dress. Okay. This black and white dress I did buy. As you can see, it fits really well. Again, I was testing the boobs and I do feel like there's space. It's also kind of like that jersey material, so it has a lot of stretch to it. I love this. Also, with us fixing up that boat, we're gonna have a lot of boat days, so I need stuff on the boat. And how freaking adorable is this? Um, so I did get this in a 3X. It is $55.90 for this, and I love that it has pockets too. I love this. But I also feel like this is very much like can be casual, but I could also wear it to work, I feel like, you know. Okay, the next dress I did not buy. Um, I don't know. It just, first the color, I do not like the color of my skin tone, um, but also I just felt like it gave me no shape, and I feel like it made me look whiter than I already am. So that one I did not do. And that one, I believe I grabbed a three. No, that one I might have grabbed a four accent, actually. Okay, the next one I did grab. This dress, I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to wear it and really like it. So this was one that I was on the fence about and decided I liked it enough to bring it home and try it with a strapless sports bronze or a strapless bra instead. Because, as you can see, I couldn't really tell in the video whether it should be on the shoulders or off the shoulders. I think, because when you see if I put it on my shoulders, it bunches up in the chest. So I think it's meant to be off the shoulder. Um, so I just wanted to give it a try at home because I loved the material so much. This one I did get in a 4X and it is $69.90. But I am obsessed with this print. It just screams summer, it screams vacation and tropical. Okay, the next thing is this other striped dress that I got. I'm trying to show you in the video, you'll see. It's fully see-through. Like, like I'm wearing a black underwear and you can see my black underwear like I know you could see this but like it's so transparent everywhere you could see my underwear so that one was a definite no and then the last thing are these shorts I love torrid shorts and I, these are actual workout shorts where I feel like the other ones I don't I have aren't technically like what is this material? Does it say? It just says polyester and spandex, but like, you know, the sweat material, like that's what this is. Now they didn't have a size, a 3X, which is what I would have preferred. Um, I did get the 4X though, just because I feel like it's still tight enough that I'm not concerned that it's gonna fall. But it is a whole like huge elastic band. So I know my size would have Preferred to be three, but it's okay. So I did get 4X and this is $49.90. That is everything I got. Like I said, I also, oh, that's not true. I got the um, leggings, like I said. But then I also grabbed these because they looked adorable. And I, last year was the first year. Was it last year or the year before? No, the year before, 2022. It was the first year I started wearing the, like either Bermuda shorts or biker shorts, whatever you want to call them, in the leggings. Because I was 
always anti-shorts. I just do not like my upper legs. But I started wearing those because I was in Florida. And I actually love them now. The only thing is I obviously can't wear those to work. <laughs> anyway, so I got these. I thought they were really adorable. I love the print. And so they are in the size 3 as well. They are the premium short Bermuda bike shorts. And they are $25.90. So that's the only other thing I got. 